Hello everybody, this is Shockinator1000 and we're reporting for duty. Welcome you back to an episode of Super Mario Odyssey Blind. Last time, we battled the Brutal's uh, mechanical maniac on top of the Bowser's Kingdom all the way up there, as you can see with the, with the glowing Bowser head over there. But we did actually defeat them, even though we did die at least once. But, we actually found out that Bowser is planning on having the wedding on, you guessed it, the moon. So we're going to be giving chase to him. In this episode, of course. Three hundred and forty power moves we've actually grabbed in total now. And our sail has now turned golden, because the Odyssey is now complete. There we go. Bowser's not getting away, we'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Yep, yeah, let's save Tiara, which is his sister, and Princess Peach. How Kevin was able to do that. But, all right. Up we go. The Moon Kingdom, Honey Loon Ridge. Bowser's Moon Wedding is the main um, stage in this area. See a glowing panel up there. Well, don't you look damper? What? Oh, oh, he's on about Mario's outfit. <laughs> Assume must be over there. No time to dilly dally. Let's go. Yep. I agree with you. Now, the main thing with the Moon Kingdom is the fact that do we feel light on our feet? Well, I was just about to come to that. There's 50 um, purple coins to be found here, but since we're on the moon, there's zero gravity here. Which is what they should have done from the start when we had Super Mario Galaxy. We should have had zero, um, zero galaxy because it makes sense, because we're in the galaxy. There's a sun right there. And there's Earth. Such a lovely sight, isn't it? Except we can't stand here all day looking at it. We can see we've got a power moon over there. So a long jump and grab it. Shining above the moon. What? Oh! Didn't know there was a hidden block there. Alright. Right, some regional coins over there as well. But, you probably think that the moon is made out of cheese. Don't seem to be the case here. All we can see is just grey stuff. Alright then, um... We would actually, like, go and grab, like, some spare power moons around here because they, believe me... There are a lot. There's about 27. But I don't think there's any necessary need for me to grab too many of them. Because we are in the final kingdom of the game. Oh boy. Uh, this challenge is mainly dedicated to doing long jumps. But... Oh god, oh god! Damn it! We fell in the moon! We fell in the moon! 
Dang. Right, but yeah, that um, power moon right there that you saw me try to grab is not easy to grab. And that's being truthful with you guys. Because I bet some of you playing this game at home probably might have had problems getting that one as well. So, this is what you need to do. Uh, um, instead of starting from down there, throw Cappy down like that. So, it will give you a good head start. Do a lot of long jumps. Land on here, grab the moon, and immediately jump off. And oh. Well, that enemy that we fought in the Sea Side Kingdom has made a comeback. As it seems. Uh, we've got an 8 bit kingdom over there. What the oh, there's a, there's a war pipe over there. Okay, that's how you get over there. Right, so um, let's. Go over there real quick. See what's down that area. But yeah, this actually is a really neat touch for the final area in the entire game. The moon. Because I wanted to like, say a hell of a lot sooner because we got like, we're grabbing power moons. We see the moon in practically every single kingdom, even though we say in the middle of daylight. So you could pretty much tell that, yeah. Oh yeah, we even got zero um, gravity in the 8-bit world as well. Whoa, God. Nearly thought we didn't make that jump then. Alright, jump up. And there's a power moon. I'm not sure if there's a hidden power moon up here. But let's have a look. See, we can jump up here. Oh, regional coins. We need them. No, it doesn't look like there's another power moon in here. Uh, Mario, can we... Mario, can we please? Thank you. It's taking a while. Right. Um, so now we can go over to that area. Don't think I'm going to take a long jump just because we got 0% gravity, guys. Because you can still fall. So, if go oh, got a rabbit. What's a rabbit doing here? Oh, great. He's got zero gravity as well. Oh, jeez. Thanks. Take advantage of that zero gravity because he will take longer leaps so you can actually predict where he's going to land. You can wall jump up here. Got some regional coins. Oh, God. There we go. Grab them. I wonder what this signpost says, knowing that we're on the moon. Oh, it's a travel tip for dive. Uh, actually, didn't actually mention that. If you, like, jump up, do a ground power, then immediately press the Y button in midair, you can do a little bit of a dive. Right, watch out for that guy. Right, do a little backflip. And ground pound on his head, that's how you kill him. Right, Cabin moves in normal pace, as I can see. Right, let's show you that. And... We've got a particular situ... Oh god, I am nowhere near going to make that jump. Do a long jump, throw Cappy, there we go. Long jump again. I actually overshot it. I actually overshot it. Unbelievable. Well, back to square one. Because I want to grab those um, regional coins over there and then make my way straight over to the wedding. So we can stop mo um, stop Bowser. Woohoo! 
Right, do another long jump. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh god, oh god. Wow. <laughs> uh, that wasn't meant to happen, but apparently it worked. Oh, I could have just done a regular jump. All right. Right, Ringing Bells Plateau. I do not know why it's called that, but I do not even care. Right, I can see an area over there. So, let's grab this dash flower. Jump up. Oh, another power moon. Cliffside treasure chest. And some more regional coins over there. Good thing I spun the camera around. Leap of faith! Which we was going to make anyway. Um, you can actually still do the triple jump here, but it's going to do a little bit of a delay, if you know what I mean. It's a moon. There's a moon rock here on the moon. You missed. Didn't we see some rocks like these back on the planet? Yeah, we sure enough did. There we go. Got some more regional coins all the way over there. And I can see a tremble clef. So let's grab that. Just a simple case of a long jump. That one can be hard to do if you don't aim your long jumps right. Taking those on the moon's surface. Yep. Simple as that. Right, let's do a long jump over there. You're really actually supposed to go down that way. But... I prove there's another way that you can go. Torpedo attack! There you go. Grab these coins. Uh, I don't think there's anything... Oh, hang on. I can see something down this way. And... Sphinx? Sphinx, what are you doing here? Greetings, traveler, unto your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? Should you really be answering questions right now? <laughs> no. Yes, oh, bearer of correct answers. There is, There are so many other things you could be doing with your time. Do what you must, I am done. Yeah. Um. I think um, he will have questions for you once you have done what you need to do. So, we got a quiet wall. The hole back there is real deep. Uh, well, it's a hole in the wall. Why do you... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, we've got epic music right here. We are inside the moon, and I don't think the moon actually looks anything like this, to be honest. The gravity feels normal inside the moon. Gee, I wonder why. And... Wait. Wait. Can we actually... No way. We can actually move this Bowser statue. Wow, I actually did not know that. There's actually a power moon sitting right there, under the Bowser statue. I actually did not know that. Because I didn't even notice the um, green knob sitting on his head. Alright. So, I guess the reason why he shows his epic music is because... Uh, it's a race against the clock, roughly, to... Um, get Princess Peach back before we're too late for the wedding. We got these um, tank enemies again and also a new enemy of the Dry Bones. Um, which, in case you're wondering, you just gotta mash the B button to fly. You can shake the Joy-Con stick to fly faster. Uh, can I grab those regional coins by shooting? Yes, I can. That's good to know. Hi. 
Right. I don't really need to get rid of those dry bones, by the way. You can't really kill them, but... We got a grand heart here. Let's take control of this dry bones. Watch out for the, um... Enemy fire. Oh, that's my cat crying. What is it, Dolly? Right, shoot that. Climb up here. And, oh, I can, hang on. Wait, hang on. I just realized something. There was a key slab down there. So there's got to be a... Hang on, I'm going back. I'm going back. I feel like we've missed something. Oh! Yeah, there. Okay. Right. I now know where it is. What you gotta do here... I'm gonna have to do a long jump back. So, we can possess... A dry bones. Because we need to fly over the lava, down here, because there's a key down here. So we mash the button to climb back up. And there we go. In a hole in the magma, even though he's not really in a hole, but the key was. Right, now let's climb up and proceed forward. Need to ground pound this. Watch out for the um, hammer bros, of course. I don't actually. Yeah, you do need to possess some crap. Yeah, it's testing you out on all of the possession, um, like. Like, all the creatures that you could basically, um, possess. Now, is the return of the Tropical Wigglers. Ow. I'm gonna have no choice but to possess this one. Because what you gotta do here, there's regional coins in there. Just sit on there. Curl around. Grab them. Oh, God. Don't miss that one. Right. Let's jump out of him. And now we can proceed onwards. And... Uh... Yeah, I thought so. That was kind of state obvious. But we actually can control the Banzai Bill. Uh, make sure not to stay in control of him too long because you will uh, auto. Oh, there's a power moon over there. Okay. I want that power moon, so I'm going to quickly grab it. There we go. Around the barrier wall. I actually forgot about that. That power moon. And can I possess this? Yep, I sure can. I right, take a slow and steady around the corner. There we go. And now let's control a Banzai Bill. Got some regional coins up there. And now, boom! Just like that. Um, hang on. What happens if you go and found that? Right, okay. So it makes an invisible path appear. Oh god. No. Well, that's a disappointment. <laughs> Right, so we died right there and then, so I guess Sammy the Cortex is the end of this episode. So 
I will join you next time where we were, where we just previously died, okay? See you guys then.